I mean, it's not possible really to understand Woomera and everything it stood for without, without appreciating what the situation was in Australia and in Britain immediately after the war. Because um, almost everybody on the left and the right thought that the end of the Second World War was simply a one end of a phase of the conflict, but, but that um, the final showdown, <laughs> Armageddon, <laughs> Was was had simply been postponed. You know, it was simply around the corner. As Cold War tensions grew between the West and communism, Australia offered to help Britain in its development of long-range weapons. Over two decades, thousands of rockets and missiles were launched into the desert from Woomera. The British wanted an independent nuclear deterrent for its policy of MAD, Mutually Assured Destruction. The original range was designed to test the Blue Streak rocket over the distance from London to Moscow. About 1,200 miles away. Jim and Marion Frost lived in Woomera in the 1960s. For civilian scientists like Jim, the pioneering of rocketry was exhilarating work. Karinga, I think. Bomblets, cluster bombs. Oh, nasty. Yes. Is cluster bombs. Looks like Karinga. It was so inappropriate for someone of Jim's personality to be working on these things. And I know, after, certainly after he retired and people would say, what did your husband do? I'd say, I worked out clever ways of killing lots of people. <laughs> We'd been brought up in the uh, World War II. And uh, yeah, to my mind, defense of Australia was, was important. You know, the, the idea of being unprepared was the sort of thing that you wouldn't want to live with. So if, if you contributed to that, then well and good. Yeah, scan your kidneys here online. I'm not a warrior. I think the word boffin would have been quite acceptable because we did feel ourselves as some extent as boffins, our tracking and our German reparations. Um, my best scan your verka. And did the same operators operate them and become expert? Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember Floss? She was one yeah. of them. <laughs> she was quite a legend. Is this exciting work? Yes, it's very exciting, especially when we track a missile. The bigger, the better. From here, I'm very close. That minus three seconds, I can hear the engines running. Just after zero, the missile comes out of the top of the launcher. It fills the whole frame, and you can hear it roaring, and it just looks beautiful. Do many girls get married out in Woomera? Yes, nearly all of them. I don't think any girl comes to Woomera and leaves here single. 